everybody. Welcome to the martial arts and sales. A beautiful day out here in El Paso. We're on the baseball field, not too far from where I live. And we've been having some difficulties earlier today, not only getting a location because people were mowing the lawn and things like that, uh, but then we had a problem with the camera. So we finally figured it out. And so part three is secret ingredients that I use to be able to be effective, not only in storytelling, but actually, more importantly, is communicating the message to the end consumer that makes sense to them. So part three is secrets, ingredients, in the script. Now part one, we talked about why a script is important. Uh, part two, we talked about how to build the script. Now we're gonna talk about how, what, what you put inside the script. And I will say this again, and I'm gonna reiterate it. A script is important, especially, no matter how long you've been in sales, if you're gonna get into a new industry, you're gonna sell a new product, there's new language that you need to learn. A script allows you to accelerate the learning curve. So never dismiss that a script is not important because it is. Even movie producers use script, no matter how many years experience that, because the script is where it all begins, is where the story begins, is where you're able to communicate your vision. So in this next topic, we're gonna to talk about the, the, the ingredients, that you gotta be excited, you gotta have enthusiasm, you gotta have confidence and conviction in what you do and how you do it because if you don't have those ingredients, you're not gonna be able to persuade anybody because here's why. People buy excitement and people buy or wanna own um, a need or a want. That's how we buy as human beings, right? So it is your job as a professional salesman to be able to convey that message to the prospect so that you can convert them into a customer. Does that make sense? So this is the opening monologue. Before we dig into the topic, let's go to the introduction. Welcome to the Martial Arts of Sales. This is part three of a four part series on why a sales script is important, not only in the sales process to be more consistent and effective, but also to develop yourself to becoming a much more effective salesperson. Because one thing I've learned a long time ago, we all like to hear stories, but we don't like to be sold, right? It's an oxymoron, but we're always buying or we're always selling. We do one or two things, right? and we either need something or we want. So part three, I'm gonna go into the ingredients that I use over 30 years that allow me to be successful in sales at every level from selling $1,000 to $100 million. The straight line method is the same, the process is the same, the ingredients are the same. The only thing that changes is the product and the language. Does that make sense? So one of the things that you must have in the script and I know it's gonna sound corny to some of you, but you gotta be excited about what you're doing and what you're offering and what you're selling and who you are. Why is that an important ingredient? Because excitement sells. Think about that. When you want to buy something that you've been looking at for a while, you get excited when you know you have the money to go buy it, right? The excitement leads you into taking that action, right? Selling over the phone is no different. And it's even harder, why? Because the customer or the prospect on the other end of the phone can just simply hang up, right? But it's the excitement and how you use that excitement that's going to take the customer or the prospect into that straight line path. So excitement is one of the most important ingredients, okay? Number two is you have to be enthusiastic about what you do. Enthusiasm is a very powerful emotion, right? Just think about this. Do you like being around people that are excited, that are enthusiastic about what they do? It's contagious, right? Customers like to feel that. The thing is, with the script, it allows you 
how to balance that, how to use it strategically. That's the key about this ingredient in the sales script. Now, the other ingredient you're gonna need is you gotta have conviction in not only your product, your services, but in you. A script allows you to develop that conviction because here's why. If you're not convinced or have conviction in what you do, it doesn't matter what script you have. The customer or the prospect is gonna know you don't have conviction. So how are you gonna convince them that they need to own this if you don't even believe they need to own it? Does that make sense? Now conviction comes with experience. It comes with time. It comes with the right training. It comes with, you know, being, going through the process of the sales process many, many, many times. So if you don't have conviction in the script, you're never gonna be able to sell consistently. You're never gonna be a top salesperson. You're never gonna become a dynamic salesman. And more important, you'll never become a world-class salesperson. Just think about that. So you gotta be excited. You gotta have the energy, I mean enthusiasm. You gotta have conviction. You also gotta have in the script persuasion. Persuasion comes by asking questions and also being able to show solutions to their problem. Also being able to reiterate to the customer exactly what they're saying so that they know that you're listening to them, right? And that's, a, that's another tool, another ingredient that we need to have and be more focused on is as a salesperson is we gotta listen to customers more because the process is about them. It's not about you or I. Even though you and I are salespeople, we have to show value, right? They have to buy into us. They have to invest in us before they invest or own the product and services. So you got conviction. You also have to have not only persuasion, but you have to have what I call being sincere and being genuine. What do I mean by that? You have to consider this, especially in my business. I know that these prospects get a lot of similar calls that I do. So why would they speak with me versus the other nine people? Or you for that matter. It's because if you come across genuine and sincere without sounding like you're reading the script or without sounding like somebody else, they gravitate to that. But you also have to know how to build that within the script. Because again, you don't want to make it about you, but you also have to sell yourself to them, right? You have to earn their trust. You have to earn their business, right? So that's a difficult thing to do, especially when you're on phone sales. You don't want to sound like anybody else, and that's why a script allows you to be developed into the character of how you are as a salesperson. So after a while, you become the script. Which means you can have a conversation with anybody at any time and still take that same process as you were doing on the phone, ask the same question, be able to deal with the objections the same way because the script developed that in you. And with these ingredients, there's more ingredients you're going to need, but these are the most important ingredients that you're going to need in the script in order to become an effective salesman, a consistent salesman, and more importantly, a dynamic, valuable salesperson. So let's recap that. Number one, you gotta be excited. Number two, you gotta have enthusiasm. Number three, you gotta have conviction. Number four, you gotta have persuasion. You gotta know how to persuade. Number five is you gotta be a good listener. You gotta listen to your customer. Number six, you have to be genuine and sincere about what you're doing, why you're doing it, and who you are. So in essence, the right script with the right ingredients builds your character as a salesperson. Does that make sense? So never ever dismiss that you don't need a script. So I hope this has been helpful. I want to thank all of you for being part of the Martial Arts of Sales. If you're watching this on YouTube for the first time, 
hit the subscription button below do give me thumbs up if you like the video and also if you believe it can help other salespeople small business owners and entrepreneur do me a favor share the video with others and more importantly do share your feedback and your comments so that I could be more effective and putting out more better content for you so till we speak again I say goodbye for now this is Paul Cruz with the martial arts of sales have a very successful day bye for now